Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the Bill Dallas Lewis channel. I'm Bill the Geek, and we're broadcasting live from Ajijic, Mexico. It's a beautiful day down here. On the Bill Dallas Lewis channel, we make videos about traveling in Mexico, renting apartments, finding houses, going to museums, going to the lake, going to the ocean, and uh, we and we're, we're going live this Saturday. And I welcome everybody into the house. Welcome Bella, Elizabeth Acker. Uh, welcome. To all you people from all over the world signing in, Dr. John is in the house from sunny New Jersey. Stephen is in the house from mid-Canada. We got a group here today, and we're getting ready to rock and roll. Oh, Mark Tucker is in the house. <laughs> oh, Mark Tucker is in the house, and I'm in his house. <laughs> that's, that's funny. I'll be here for another three or four weeks, and they're up there. They're up there in the United States packing, getting ready for the big trip down here. Annie, Ola, Annie, and everybody. Cindy is in the house. Christine Prowls, good morning, Bill, and everyone from, I, I hope, a sunny and warmer Montana. We have a lot of news today. A lot is going on. Wow, what a week. This, <laughs> this was a real week, man. A lot is happening. Henry Har Harville is in the house. We got 20 people in the house, nine likes. Uh, thank you, everybody, for showing up. Uh, okay, so I finalized my apartment deal yesterday afternoon. It was a real zoo because I had to transfer the money from my bank account to the owner of the apartment that I'm moving into. I've got pictures of the apartment and I think you're going to like the pictures. Uh, I'm going to share those pictures with you. But in the money transfer process, I learned a lot about transferring money in Mexico, and I'm going to share those details with you. We have two new videos that came out this week. One I, I thought was an interesting interview with Stan and Linda from Canada and how they use the uh, Roberts tour to find a uh, to find a house and look for a house all week but also have fun and the link to that video is below in the description then I did a video a couple of days ago on how to find an apartment in Mexico and I used that method to find the, the apartment that I'm moving into so uh so those links are below and then we'll have some more videos coming out shortly this week tim olson in the house from minnesota and dan mack from uh from beautiful sunny day in german village and german village is in columbus ohio it's one of the best places to live in Columbus, Ohio. I'm going to say there's two places I would want to live in Columbus, Ohio. One would be German Village, and the other place would be the Short North. James and Rena in the house. Ola, Ola, James and Rena, and they they're they're back in Las Vegas. Oops, no, nah, not there. There they are, right there. Uh, there we are standing on the street when they came to visit. They stayed for three weeks. They're looking for a home. They were with a realtor uh, for a, a lot of that time, eating food and uh, drinking wonderful beverages. They're such a delightful couple. Okay, Cindy. Uh, your interviews might be my favorite interviews. Thank you, Cindy. I'll have to do more interviews. Uh, uh, okay, okay, okay. Um, when I've been shooting my videos for the, for, for the, I guess I've been here for almost a month now in the house of Chris and Mark. Uh, but I'm I'm just uh, like a block away from the Malicon, so I get my camera, get my microphones, my tripod, go down to the Malicon, set up the tripod on the Malicon. And the last video I did, finding a house in Ahihik, I shot the whole thing on the Malicon. And it's kind of hard to do because 
people know me here. <laughs> it's really funny. And people stop and they talk. This guy named Tony, great guy. He's for, he was from Albuquerque, New Mexico, and he he bought a house down here. He talked he talked to me for an hour while I was trying to shoot my videos. A great guy, but uh, it's it's a real experience doing these uh, YouTube videos. Brian Maiden in the house. Good morning, Brian. William is in the house, compadres. Oh, people speaking Spanish in here. And uh, yeah, I'm finishing up. I'm finishing up my birthday week, and uh, my sister for a gift, she sent me some pictures. I'm, I'm gonna send. I'm gonna share some of these pictures with you. Jack Webb is in the house from Lexington, Kentucky. Jack. Oh, and Brian, my birthday was very good because I didn't do anything. And I tell you guys, it's been a very busy week with two videos, uh, planning things, uh, put the car in the shop for an oil change and other kind of stuff like that. And then uh, getting the money to the landlord in Mazatlan. It was a real experience. But my birthday was very good. And I tell you what, Saturdays, when this broadcast is over, uh, uh, that's the end of my week. Some people work Monday through Friday, and then Friday at 5 o'clock is time for the weekend. Well, my weekend starts when this broadcast is over. Uh, so, so when 11 o'clock Central Time comes or later, it's time for Bill to chill out for a couple of days, Saturday and Sunday. But uh, we're going to go down memory lane just a little bit. My sister sent me these pictures, and uh, they were really small. So I, that's me when I was, I guess, about six months old right there. That, that, that must be like 66 years ago. Uh, Bill the Geek, when he was an infant. Oh, yeah. Jim Conto in the house were seeking a 30 day rental in Chapala area during August. Love your YouTube. Thank you very much, Jim. Uh, okay, Brian, thank you uh, about the rental videos. Senior Mexico is in the house. Buenos Dias from Baltimore. Every day is my weekend. <laughs> <laughs> That's good, William. Eating uh, Jordan White, eating pancakes and watching Bill. So here's the second picture. They get better. There's my there's my beautiful mother Peggy, Peggy Catherine Lewis, holding me. Isn't she a beautiful woman? Holding me. I guess shortly after I was born. So I only have two, th two or three more of these. Uh, that that uh, so my sister sent me these. Uh, so okay, so moving money around in Mexico. So I I have a uh, a real estate agent in Mazatlan. Her name is Allie, and I'm hoping that I can do some videos with her in Mazatlan. She's delightful. And she's a knockout. And she's married to some guy named Frazier, who is from Cleveland, who loves Ohio State football. But anyway, Abby has guided me through this entire process, worked with me to help me find this apartment. But Friday, it ended up that I had to get the money to the landlord. So uh, Chris and Mark turned me on to a service. It's called Wise. There's another. It, it, it used to be called Transfer Wise, and I signed up for at that and tried to send the money that way. But then there was some c confusion about does the the person that you're sending money to do they need the Wise service? It's an international. Uh, money transfer system. So I had a problem with that. So I had to figure out another way to send the money. And it ends up that Western Union is all over Mexico. You can send money and receive money through Western Union. Now, I made a video on OXO. So uh, Ali told me 
a Friday afternoon that I had to get the money to the landlord by 5 o'clock p.m. And when she told me this, it was like 3 o'clock in the afternoon. So, and then my car's getting an oil change, so I had to walk to a bunch of places to see where I could get this money transferred. And OXO is a place, and I've done a video on OXO. OXO is like 7-Eleven. So you can use Western Union at OXO, and there's an OXO about four blocks from where I'm sitting right now. So I, I went to OXO, it ends up that in OXO, you can receive money from Western Union, but you can't send money via Western Union. Okay, so I found that out, went to the money machine, got all the money that I needed. It was a half block away. Uh, I asked a taxi driver, where is the Western Union office? And there is one in Chapala, but not one in Ahihik. Maybe he's wrong. So I found out that what you can do, there is a major uh, pharmacy chain chain in Mexico. It's called Pharmacia Guadalajara. They're all over Mexico. They're owned by the Catholic Church, and they most of the time they have many locations in any city. And it ends up at Pharmacia Guadalajara. You can go in there and take, if you have somebody's debit card number, that is the 16 digit number on your debit card. You can just walk in there, give them the debit card. They put the debit card number in their computer at Pharmacia Guadalajara, and then you can send people money like that. The thing is, I need to send uh oh i i'd send uh I, uh my english and spanish has me confused so i'd say send about 700 dollars to the landlord <clears throat> but they could and which comes to like 13 13,500 pesos 13,500 pesos but pharmacy of guadalajara could only do it in three thousand pesos increments so i had to send five payments all at once four for three thousand pesos and then the last one for one thousand five hundred pesos the landlord got the money instantly they sent me a receipt i'm all set up and ready to move to Mazatlan. the minute chris and mark get back i'm out of here into my new apartment okay oh thank you cindy you're so sweet you're so the, yeah my mom was a good looking woman dan mack i know this is a little out of left field but do you know if any stores that sell Ooh, ooh, i've never heard of that dan uh box brownie mix i'm thinking in Ahihik, you might try this. There are two stores you might try here in Ahihik. One store would be Super Lake. They sell all kinds of weird stuff uh, that uh, Mexican stores don't carry. Like I grew up on Miracle Whip. In our house, we never had mayonnaise in the house. We always had Miracle Whip. And uh, uh, so you can buy miracle whip at super lake and all kinds of stuff like pop tarts stuff that you can't find in the major mexican grocery but you 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 can try super lake there's another place uh down the street from super lake it's called ponchos uh they they may carry it but that's that's the only hope you may have brian maiden when i come to mexico in september 30 days will stay all i need is the fmm card and proof of stay or am i wrong okay let me read that again when i come in september 30 days stay all i need is the ffm card and proof of stay yeah if you're just going to stay for 30 days uh i i think you just need a receipt like from the hotel or the uh, Airbnb where you're gonna stay, 
uh, the length of time you're going to be there, the dates you're going to be there. That should that should do it. Uh, and uh, immigration will give you. Uh, I don't know what they're giving out now. They'll give you some form of proof uh, that you do have your FM, and it's, it's a very simple process. Olga, good morning, Bill, and everyone tuning in from San Antonio. Uh, that means Olga is right down the street. Uh, we have a subscriber. Okay, uh, let's go to Jordan White. What is the charge to transfer money from OXO? Now, I didn't transfer money from OXO. I transferred money from Pharmacia Guadalajara, but I bet you that the charges are very similar. Uh, I made five transaction at Pharmacia Guadalajara, and each transaction cost me 12 pesos. 12 pesos a transaction. Oh, that's like 50 cents a, tracks, a transaction. My bank, my bank could have done it, but we needed a routing number and this thing called a clave number. It was going to get complicated, but my bank was going to charge me $15 for one transfer for, so 12 pesos times five, that's like a hundred pesos so it's less than five dollars for all of those transfers okay i only have i only have two more i uh, well this this let's go down the list here da 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 oh, oh okay cmt 63 that is chris i'm in her house brian we don't have to prove where we were staying but they did ask okay very good very good james and rena Super Lake might be your best shot. Yes, yeah, Super Lake. Uh, uh, in Spanish, a friend of mine and I, we used to call Super Lake Super Caro. Super Caro. And Caro in Spanish means expensive. Super Lake, super expensive. Not everything is expensive, but like Miracle Whip in the United States, you get a little jar, maybe like a little 32 ounce jar. That's going to cost you like three dollars in super lake the same miracle whip jar is going to cost you like fifteen dollars <laughs> or like uh things you can't find in mexico at the regular uh, mexican grocery stores are like canned beans you know canned beans you it's very difficult to find canned beans now you can go to the market and when people make fresh beans and you, you can just buy the beans they're all cooked up ready to go but like in in uh you can get all kinds of beans so in anyway on a side note okay brian staying at a friend's house okay robert rob rob hola rob glad to have you in the house I only have two more of these pictures. Let's see. What's this one? There's me. I guess I'm about four years old. We're, that's my sister. Her name is Lewis. Lewis, she's, she lives in Los Angeles. She's four years older than me. And we're standing in front of my grandmother's house. There you go. There, I, only, I, only have, I only have two more of those. And and uh, we'll, 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 we'll see what happens. So anyway, we're going to make some more videos this week. Uh, we have one more interview with, <clears throat> with uh, well, when we did the tour in Mazatlan, when we did the tour in Mazatlan with uh, Sherry and Robert, uh, we put up Robert's interview about 10 days ago. I did an interview with Sherry, the co-owner of Reina Del Mar Apartments. You guys, you may want to consider taking that tour. Uh, it's a fabulous tour, and their place is fabulous. They're wonderful people, but I'm, I'm going to do the interview with Sherry uh, this week, and... I'm, I have rethought uh, I, my, my mental process about where to live in Mexico has totally changed. So similar to the video about how to find an apartment 
in Mexico. Uh, one video this week will be, well, what are you really looking for in Mexico? And given what you're really looking for, and 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 this is not like, well, I want two bedrooms and two baths, and I want a car place to park, and I want to be close to the ocean. This video is going to be about how do you want to live day to day do you want to see people do you want to see americans and canadians do you only want to see mexicans do you want to live out in the middle of nowhere do you need internet uh it's like how do you want to live do you need culture and museums and art and and so that that video will be coming out this week's okay javelina flips Oh, oh, that's funny. You guys are funny. Let's see what's going on. Let's see what's going on. I'm looking at the monitors kind of far away. Oh, I like black and white photos, Rob. Uh, yes, okay. Cindy, Super Caro. <laughs> yeah, Super Caro, yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, so like we call Whole Foods, Super Paycheck. That's funny. <laughs> Michelle. <coughs> Howdy from Texas. Woo okay. Okay. So this picture is in color. This is my, and these were all birthday gifts from my sister. Okay. But there's my entire family. That is the mini me there. I guess I'm in like about third or fourth grade in my suit with that cute little hat that I'm going to wear. There's my sister in the green. She's four years older than me. Behind me is my dad. And to the to, on the far left-hand side is my beautiful mother. My dad's name is William D. Lewis also. And I think this must be Easter because we're all dressed up in new clothes and getting ready to go to the Episcopal Church on a Sunday morning. These images... Uh, are all birthday gifts from my sister and I have one more just one more I've got one more here we go this is the last one then we'll move on to other things there I am uh, apparently I have hit puberty at this point so with all these pictures, we've gone from baby Bill to now grown-up Bill with a beard and you can see I got gray hair in the beard. That's my sister, uh, Louis Lewis, directly behind me. And one of my favorite aunts, her name is Mana Ann Slade. And she is deceased. But uh, she told me, uh, she told one thing that she told me that stuck in my mind was live your life and enjoy your life and i was a bad little boy when i was a kid so uh uh i would do terrible things to the adults i uh, tear tear up their stuff you know be bad kick them in the shins and aunt mon ann never got upset about anything she was just beautiful but anyway there's there's just some pictures of my background beautiful thank you thank you brian Oh, yeah, I can't see the faces. Sorry. Uh, uh, I don't know what my sister knows about video editing or 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 uh, image editing, but she sent me these pictures. They were all about one inch by one inch the size of a postal stamp. I don't know what she was thinking about. So I had to go into Photoshop and upscale them. And in the land of Photoshop, upscaling is the work of the devil. Thank you, Cindy. Okay, you guys, now I'm going to show you some pictures of the apartment. Here we go. Here, here we go. Here is, here is the apartment pool. Okay. Here's the pool at the apartment. And if you're going to live in Puerto Vallarta or Mazatlan or Malake, if you're going to live on the ocean, you really need to have a pool. But this pool looks very big. And uh, I'm going to be happy to get into that pool very regularly. 
very regularly. I've got about four more images. I've got a living room image, a kitchen image, a bathroom image, and a terrace image. Okie dokie. What's going on down here? Uh-oh. Kate? Kate? Kate just sent me the narrow and Kate, thank you so much for your donation. It, it doesn't show up here. She sent it. Uh, there is a donate link down in the description. Kate just sent me $10. If you're watching the rebroadcast, uh, you can click the donate button and give that to the channel. Uh, and that's how we pay for our gas and our oil changes for the car. Okay, Robert, ob obviously your sister is a micromanager. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My parents called my sister the general. William, love your picks. They are treasures. One thing I have learned, live today like it's your last because one day it will be, that will be right. Yeah, you got to live every day. Every day you got to live you got to live every day like it is your last. Mark Tucker, we were caught off guard on getting the FMM card at the airport. Had to fill out a form online or our on our phones at airport in order to get it. Yeah, stuff has really changed, man. I haven't taken a flight into the United States into Mexico from the United States for about 10 years. So I, I have no clue how it works anymore. The last time I came to Mexico, I drove a Carbella. What is part? Uh, what is part of your backstory? How did you come? How did you come to live in Mexico? Okay, how did I come? Uh oh, Jack Webb. Jack Webb, I've got to hit the button. Jack Webb, my man in Lexington, Kentucky, just gave me nine dollars. Do you know how much money that is? Woohoo! Woohoo! Thank you, Jack Webb. Thank you so much. Uh, that uh, ten dollars in Mexico is a lot of money. Um, uh, and if you're coming to visit, I'm going to go into the backstory here shortly. But if you're if you're visiting Ahi Heek, there's a restaurant. It's called Wee Wee, Wee Wee French. Wee. Uh oh, what happened here? Somebody else, somebody else sent me money for a donation, but I can't. It shows up on my phone, but I can't see who it is. Uh, but there's a place called Wee Wee, and uh, they make French food and they make excellent. And they are on a street called Independencia. Independencia, it's it's like in the 10 block of Independencia. And it's right across the street from Robert's Dildo Shop. But I, I bring this up because I go and buy frozen pizzas from them. And it only costs like $3.25 for a frozen quiche. A frozen quiche. And this is quiche Lorraine. And it's big enough I can make it last for like three meals. But with Jack Webb's donation, that's like three quiches. That's a week's worth of food. And thank you so much, Jack Webb, for your donation. Money really goes. Okay, so Bella, she wants to know, what is my backstory on moving to Mexico? Okay, many of you guys have heard this story. I've told the story in some videos, but in short, uh, I went to Dartmouth College, and at Dartmouth College, every student has to go to a country and study a language for like nine weeks. So if you're studying Russian, you have to go to Russia and live with a family. If you're studying French, you have to go to France or some French speaking country and stay there for nine weeks. I mean, every student has to do that. So I lived in uh, San Luis Potosi for nine weeks with a family. And uh, what happened was uh, some of my friends in that group, there were about 30 of us all staying with separate families. 
some of my fr friends in the group went to Puerto Vallarta. And when they, I didn't go, when they came back, they said it was great. And a, a good friend of mine, Sion Bethel from New York City, this black guy from New York City, when he came back to San Luis Potosi, he came back with this hot Canadian woman. I mean, she was like smoking. Woo! So anyway, I didn't go. But anyway, years later, I started an online business and I was teaching web design, computer code, web code, CSS, HTML, JavaScript, ActionScript, animation. And I was teaching all of that online. Uh, and I was one of the first people to do that. All of this Zoom stuff, all, the, all, all these people that are doing Zoom, I was doing Zoom like 20 years ago. It was brand new. So once I figured out that I could teach my classes online, uh, long story, but, uh, but I said, you know, I can do this anywhere in the world. So I remembered what they told me about Puerto Vallarta. I called some people. If, if you watched the video, how to find an apartment that I put out this week, uh, I, I got on Facebook. I found some people. There were Americans living there. I found out the speed of the internet. I found an apartment. Uh, I got a lot of advice from people. And then I just moved to Puerto Vallarta and lived there for 10 years. Then I met some woman that lived in Guadalajara. And I lived in Guadalajara for three years. Then we moved to Chapala. And now I'm in, then we broke up. Now I'm in Ahihik. And on the way to Mazatlan, that is my backstory. Okay. Ah. Okay, Brian Maiden, I thought you got the FFM card on the airplane. Uh, Brian Maiden, that, that's the way it used to happen. Okay. Chris is saying in Fort Myers, they made us fill out before and then attached it, an FM card for our passports. Yeah, things have changed. There you go, but Chris knows uh, because she's recently taken those trips. Okay, ah, yeah, okay, Mark Tucker. Yeah, okay, there you go, that's a no. That's a no, Brian, they know because they, they just made the trip recently. Okay, now, we're gonna. I'm gonna share with you another uh oh, Olga. Uh, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so it's pretty standard. Looks like they're having you guys fill this stuff out before you get on the plane. Okay, I'm going to show you another photo of the apartment. Here it is. This is the living room combination, dining room combination, kitchen. Uh, I, I've never been there, but it looks nice and clean and somewhat spacious. Uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to it where the, where you see the dining room is over there. That's going to be my computer desk. And in about three weeks when I go live, I'll be broadcasting from this location. That's my new apartment. And I think... I am going to enjoy that. It is about four blocks from the beach. Got a swimming pool right outside. I can walk to many apartments and restaurants and bars, though most of the time I'll just be making YouTube videos because that's what I do. Okay, okay, so we're picking up new information about getting your F. M card. Apparently things have changed in 10 years. Um, okay. Okay. I got another picture. Here is, here is the kitchen. You can see Ola Trace. Glad to have you in the house. Trace, this is my new apartment. And you can see, I think in this, uh, there's the refrigerator, the microwave. I think that's a dishwasher, the stove, uh, you can see everything's nice and modern. And, uh, you know, this is about $675 a month. Yep, $675 a month. Yeah. 
I'm looking forward to that. It looks nice and clean right next to the beach, bars, restaurants, swimming pool, ocean. I'm good to go. I'll be there in about four weeks, depending on uh, when uh, Mark and Chris get back from Florida. Senor Mexico, I assume your apartment is in a complex. Very nice. Yes, it, 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 I, I think it's in a big complex. And I don't know what floor this apartment is on, but soon I will show you a patio and the view that I have from the patio. Thank you, Robert. The place up appears to be, oh, okay. Uh, Brian Maiden for only six fifty U.S. two bedroom. Yeah, this place has two bedrooms and two baths and a little deck. Okay, now Mark, Mark Tucker. I'm in his apartment. Maybe Fort Myers Airport. We're out of the form to fill out for for the FFM. We had to go through ticket line twice because of it. Okay. All utilities, yes, all utilities are paid. Uh, Harry, Harry, I, I don't remember. I don't, I, I, Harry, I don't remember you showing up. Uh, g good morning, Harry. Welcome to the group here in Cleveland. Uh, but hope to move to Mazatlan in mid August. Yeah, Harry, I'm from Columbus, Ohio. I, I'm going to say Cleveland is is one of the best places to live in Ohio as far as, as far as culture goes. I've been there many times. Terry Don Marshall. Yeah, Bill, you are so deserving. Thank you very much, Terry Don Marshall. Elizabeth. Hi, Bill. This is Elaine from Texas. Welcome, Elaine, welcome Elaine. And also, I've been staying in contact with one of our group members and we communicate via email. If you ever want to email me directly, my email is in the description below. But uh, that girl, that girl, I'm, that's not her real name. I know, I know what her real name is and everything. But she's living here in Ahihik. She, she, uh, and then she saw my videos about Matsitlan and uh she did her research and terry is a is a thorough uh oh uh but that girl is a very thorough researcher so she just got an apartment in Mazatlan this week also and i mean she's single she lives by herself she works at home uh, she's in the movie industry so many times she goes back to the united states to help make movies so she found an apartment uh, and she showed me pictures of her apartment it's right on the ocean with a pool right on the ocean and when you're in the pool you have an ocean view and she's going to pay nine hundred dollars a month less than living here in Ahihik, which means when she first moved to Ahihik, whoever rented her the apartment saw her coming and they were ripping her off if she's going to save $900 a month. Uh, so Mazatlan is, uh, it can be much more inexpensive than Ahihik. But it depends on how much money you have. We have 63 people in the house with 26 likes. Uh, let's see, Rob, Robs, you're from Youngstown, Ohio. Been to Youngstown several times. Senior Mexico, you'll have to look me up. Oh, you'll have to hook me up with Complex when I move to Mazatlan next year. Uh, tell you what, um, uh, Senor Mexico, uh, grab my email in, grab my email in the description, email me directly, my real estate agent in Mazatlan, her name is Allie. And I've got her email, I've got her phone number, and I can give you all of that information. She is married, but she, oh, and I'll send you her website. Her picture is on the front of her website, and she is one hot 
Tamale, though she's married to Frazier, who is from Cleveland. Uh Uh-oh, Brian Maiden, woo-hoo, right on, right on, Brian Maiden. Thank you for your donation. Every dollar, Rini, helps us in this house. Thank you so much much you guys for donating to the channel and uh helping us pay for our our bills around the house okay 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 i'm i'm reading these messages from afar that's why my glasses on harry bill i've been in the group for months okay i've only posted a couple of times well harry glad glad that you're letting us know that you are here uh bella how would you compare ahihik to matzlan less traffic more wide open spaces etc i live in ahihik right now too congested for me and anxiety producing Dr. John. <laughs> oh, oh, Dr. John just gave me five dollars. Yeah, that's good for a gallon of gas. Thank you so much, Dr. John from Sunny, New Jersey. Thank you so much, Dr. John. Okay, okay, now, how does Ahi Heek compare to Matsatlan? Okay. Uh uh. In the interview that I did with Robert of Reina Del Mar uh, Apartments, both of us, we talked about Ahihik or Matzatlan. And Robert has properties here in Ahihik. He has a store here in Ahihik. He does business in Ahihik. So when we had this conversation comparing the two places, we really had to tiptoe around that subject because both of us do business in Ahihik. I have many subscribers in Ahihik. I know a lot of people in Ahihik and we didn't want to slam Ahihik. I tell you, uh, uh, and for you, those of you have, that have been watching my videos over the last five months, you know that I was living out in the country for th- three months and I'm very happy right now in Ahihik. I've only driven my car one time in three or four weeks. I can walk everywhere and 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 to buy regular food so I can cook at home. It's very inexpensive. Uh, I've found the cheap Mexican national uh, restaurant so I can I can eat dinner for like two dollars and fifty cents. But uh, like, like uh, somebody asked me, congested Bella. Bella was saying, I'm in Ahihik now. It's kind of congested. There's only one main road that goes through Ahihik. It's super congested all the time, every day. This road to go from one end of town to the other end of town should only take you five minutes on a bad day. It might take you an hour and a half. It's crazy. Uh, ah, ah, he, he, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's really nice. There's lots of music. There's lots of food. But the total population of Ahihik is about 30,000 people. I don't know what the population of expats is. Uh, in Matsatlan, there are 500,000 people. So in Ahihik, if you go to restaurants, and some restaurants have music in the nighttime, they have rock and roll, jazz, uh, almost any kind of music you want uh, on any given night. But Ahihik is so small that if you go to this restaurant, that restaurant, this restaurant, you end up running into the same people a lot of the time. And there's a, there's a lot of senior citizens, uh, American and Canadian senior citizens in Matsanlan. So if you go to restaurants, you're going to see a lot of senior citizens. Sometimes in Mats- sometimes in Ahihik, it, it, you're, you're in an environment 
of senior citizens. Every, you go to Walmart, you go to OXO, uh, and uh, I, 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 well, so Mazatlan is, is a bit different. With 500,000 people, most of the people you're going to see are going to be Mexican nationals. Uh, but they have a expat population of about 30,000 people, uh, to my understanding. So, uh, when I was in Mazatlan walking down the Malikan, let's see. So, okay. Okay. So this is the Malikan. You guys have seen it before. It is 15 miles long, 17 kilometers. And as you walk down here, you're going to see, and they're all on the right-hand side, that's all bars and restaurants and hotels. And as you walk down this Malikan for 15 miles, you will see Canadians and Americans, but they won't all be senior citizens, okay? And I love senior citizen. I am a senior citizen. I'm, I'm 66 years old. I am a senior citizen. But I like to see young people too. I like to see I, I I like I like to see what is natural. And for me, what is national, what is uh natural is you see little kids, you see teenagers, you see people in their twenties, you see people in their thirties, you see people in their forties and fifties, you see people in their sixties, seventies, and eighties, but uh uh, there, uh, uh, you see everything in Mazatlan. You see everything. Uh, so, so I'm really looking forward to it. I think um, I love Ahihik, and uh, I love the people here. It's so easy to meet people. Uh, it's nice to be able to just walk up to people and speak English. So uh, I love, but, but, uh, and there's not as much traffic in Mazatlan. There's probably more traffic, but they just know how to build roads. Okay. So it doesn't get all congested. Okay. Paulina, good morning from Toronto, Canada. Love Toronto. It's a great, it's a great place. Skyrider. I didn't see this. I didn't see Skyrider just donated some cash. And I appreciate that $5. There is another gallon of gas. And of course, they don't sell gas in gallons down here. They sell gas in liters. And about four liters makes up a gallon. Uh, and and a, a liter costs about $2 a liter. But thank you, Sky Rider, for your donation. Thank you all for your donations. And we have 60 people in the house. We have 35 likes, and thank you so much, and thanks, everybody, for showing up this Saturday morning. Okay, now, Paulina, James, and Rena. Oh, my God. Gas is at $5.29 a gallon in, in Vegas. Glad I drive EV, an electric vehicle. It gets me 160 miles when I, when I charge at home. Good for you, James and Rena. I got your picture here. I, I may as well use it. James and Rena, now they were here for three weeks. Now they're back in Vegas uh, in their electric car. And I got to talk. Uh, me and James, we went out and we had some food, drank a couple of beers together. And he was telling me about modern technology in the United States. <laughs> he taught me a lot. <laughs> Uh, uh, I think he has a Telsa and he showed me the app on his telephone that, that you use to unlock the doors and lock the doors. And, uh, I, I mean, I'd never seen that. I mean, I've been in Mexico for, for so long. I don't know what modern technology is. Okay, here we go. Crapple, crapple, Jordan white shell station in town. Uh, and was 563 a gallon, although Shell is more expensive than most. Oh my God. Oh, no. Robert. Robert. Are you crazy, my man? Robert came through with a very hefty donation. It's very much appreciated. 
twenty dollars that's like half my rent wow thank you so much thanks thanks you guys and i made a mistake this week i was really curious to see what happened today in the broadcast because yesterday i figured out that i'd made the broadcast for the 5th of june which is tomorrow so i had to go into my youtube settings and change the date to the 4th and i was wondering if everybody would get notified but what oh what senior mexico thank you you guys right on i i mean right on you guys thank you so much for your contributions thank you so much you guys are great okay jordan white okay jordan white crapo crapo how high how high do you think the gas prices will go i heard somewhere in the united states it's like 829 a gallon john colby from chat chattanooga tennessee i've been there many a times yeah robert thank you so much thank you guys so much for joining us we have 58 people in the house 36 likes uh we tried to do a good job here at, at the bill dallas lewis channel let's see oh let's go back this let's look at some more pictures of, okay so we saw here is the bathroom in my apartment looks kind of small but you can see the shower is pretty good size everything is modern all of the walls and the floors are marble very clean and modern so i'm really i only have one more picture i only have one more picture of the place to show you and i did uh john colby wow you guys are just throwing in the cash today thank you very much john colby beer and tacos oh i think it's going to be heineken time after this broadcast <laughs> it's time for heineken and tacos oh my god wow um okay you guys uh this is the last photo this is the last photo James and Rena, ten dollars expect in the next few years will be the norm uh, for ten dollars a gallon for gas. That's crazy. Uh, but here's the last picture. Wow, what a fantastic! Yeah, yeah, this is a Brian Maiden. Yeah, this, this is a very good day for Bill. <laughs> thank you so much, you guys. I can't say thank you enough. This is the last picture that I have. This is the terrace. Uh, there's a sliding glass door. You can look at, at the terrace here. Um, so it looks, it looks like this apartment must be on like the sixth or seventh floor. It's not an ocean view, but it's a view of the mountains. And, uh, uh, it, it, you know, I'm, I'm very, I'm very excited. You got the pool, really nice pool. You got a nice living room, fully furnished. Uh, the kitchen's looking very good. Bathrooms looking good. Terrace is looking good. Oh boy. I'm, I'm, I'm ready to make the move. Uh Oh, Chris and Mark, come on back soon. So I can go down to my new apartment in Matsatlan. Okay. Okay, you guys. Uh I want to thank everybody for coming. Uh I'm not sure what I'll be doing next Saturday when we go live. I'll be doing more videos this week and some research, but I want to thank you guys. Oh, we got we got more stuff going on. Do do do. do. Uh, oh. Uh, Brian, Mark is sending the link for the form. Okay, very good. Thank, thank you, Chris. Uh, uh, Senor Mexico, gas too high. Time for more affordable electric cars. No, no, no doubt. Brian Maiden, I pay nine hundred dollars. One bedroom, no amenities. Very large balcony. Brian, where are you? Tell us where you are. Are you here, uh, Harry? Bill, do you have easy access to...
to the Malikon. Yes, I think I'm about three blocks away from the 15 mile Malikon. Mary Renfro, great information. Can't wait to visit Mazatlan. What about school for children who are in second grade and high school? Are schools affordable and, and thought in English or bilingual? Okay, Mary. Okay, I saw, I saw an interview and I can look for this interview to share it with you. So Mary, email me directly. My email is in the description below. But I saw an interview with a woman. She was from New York City. She had, she had lived uh, uh, around the world, but she chose to move to, I think it's San Miguel Allende with her like five-year-old daughter. And uh, they have private schools. Of course, they have public and private schools in Mexico. So they have a, what they call American schools. And these are taught in Spanish, English, and French. At the, the private schools are very good for kids of all ages. Uh, and these schools are throughout Mexico, especially in the major cities like Puerto Vallarta, Mazatlan, Guadalajara, anywhere you have a large city, uh, you will be able to get great education for your children. So I wouldn't worry about it. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a Ram. What happened with Hurricane Agatha? That's over in the Gulf. That has nothing to do with the Pacific. The Pacific is on the other side of Agatha. So I, I don't worry about that. Okay, here we go. James and Rena. Electric, electric cars sh are cheap when you figure the gaff prices. Oh, okay, okay, Brian, you're in Winnipeg, Canada. Okay, okay, $900 a month for a one bedroom, and it snows up there. Okay, Robert, I think you will be happy in Mazatlan. Yes, yes, sir, Robert. My wife, ta ah, my wife taught in the American school in Puebla MX. Okay, yeah, yeah, they have they have great schools. And this 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 video that I saw with this lady that moved to San Miguel Allende, she had her kids taking like piano lessons, like kung fu lessons. There's a lot of culture in Mexico that you just never hear about. Okay, here we go. Crapple crapple, Dr. John. Mary Renfro, look for a YouTube channel, Priority Focused like Life. Recently did a video on selecting school programs in Mexico. Thank you, Dr. John. Dr. John and you all are so great at sharing information with one another. It's greatly appreciated. Okay, you guys. Well, this is, this is the, I wanna thank everyone for showing up Th ah claudia thank you uh oh uh oh uh oh mark is sending me uh mark and chris pam jacobs uh oh i got so many messages coming in here thank you guys for showing up there's so much going on i hope you all are doing well thank you for clicking the like button uh so so I, I hope this was informative. We have more uh, videos coming out soon. Uh, this is the end of my work week. And I, I'm, I'm going to go to OXO and, and I get, get some Heineken's and chill out. I think I'm going to watch movies today. Okay, bien dia todos. That means good day, everyone. And thank you, all you people that gave me birthday gifts through the week, through clicking the, the donate button in the description. That was, that was really cool. Uh, Brian Maiden, have, have a great weekend and, and weekend all in the house. Cindy, happy weekend. Take care. Thank you, everyone, for showing up and being so kind. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell, I'm gonna tell all of you guys, have a great weekend, and we'll be back 
on the Bill Dallas Lewis channel next Saturday at 10 a.m. Central Time. Love you all and everyone. Enjoy your weekend.